Dynamic Landmine Press is a full body, powerful exercise that uses power coming from our legs, a hip rotation, and a powerful shoulder press. It also uses a lot of core strength in order to perform this movement properly. You do not want the barbell to slide as you're performing the exercise. You could push the barbell up against a wall, you could put the barbell inside the hole of a weighted plate, or the picture to the right is showing what's called a landmine. It's basically a holder for the barbell that has a swivel. Some gyms may have those. So you can pick any of those three options, or if the ground allows you, you can place it on the ground if you have a turf like I'm using here where the barbell will not slide. If you are new to this exercise, select a light weight and focus on developing the technique. You do not ever need to go extremely heavy in this exercise. It's a power exercise, so select a medium weight and focus on being technical and moving the barbell fast. In your initial starting position, take notice that my hips and chest are facing away from the direction that I'm about to press in. Also notice that there's a slight bend in my back knee and in my front knee. Also take notice which direction my feet are facing. The barbell is loaded directly over top of the shoulder that I'm going to press with. Also notice my opposite arm is up in the air and in front of my body. To initiate the press, you're going to simultaneously rotate your torso forward, press the barbell up in front of you, while you're driving your opposite arm down and towards your back. Take notice as I finish the press, my chest is facing the direction that I press the barbell and my opposite arm is down and towards my back. Also take notice that I didn't completely lock out my shoulder, so I'm not locking out and jarring my shoulder. Reverse the movement to start back in your initial position. Let's review some of the technical cues that we've gone over. In initial position, the barbell is loaded directly over top of your pressing shoulder. In this position, your hips are facing away from the direction you're about to press. Initiate the movement by simultaneously performing a trunk rotation, a press, and driving your opposite arm down and towards your back. For breathing in this exercise, you want to be inhaling as you're setting up and exhaling as you make the press. <laughs> 